Hey baby blues, happy new year. Hello everybody. Did everybody have an amazing new year? You guys ready to find out what's going on in your love life in this coming year? Good morning, Bren. Hi, babes. It's 11 11. 11 11. Let's get started. Hi, not my name. Hi, babes. Happy New Year. No, this isn't for the whole, the whole year. This should be the near future. What's going on right now or in the near future? I don't like to go too far into the future. If you guys know me, you know that. Hi, babes. Everybody tap in, share the live stream out, and let's get started. Who's going first for this New Year's love reading? Who's number one? Hi guys, everybody's coming in. Oh shit, it's Kiki is here. Hey babe. <clears throat> okay, who's, who's first? We need to all get on the same page. Who's number one? Hmm, Earth Babies. Didn't you guys go first last time? All right, you can be first again. Why is this pen already dying? I just bought this. I highly do not recommend these pens on Amazon. <laughs> it's already going dead on me. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you guys are first. Number two, who's number two? Fire babies, wow. So prompt of you, fire signs. <laughs> My sexy fire signs are ready for the reading this time, huh? Aries, Leo, Sag, everybody's here on time. I like that. Number three, Air Babies. I see you. I got you. You guys are third. Gemini. My crazy Geminis. You know I love you, but y'all crazy. Gemini, Libra. Love my Libras. Love my Aquas. Okay. Isn't Doja a Gemini? Or no, she's a Libra. Right? No, she's a Libra. Who was it? I can't remember. You guys are like, yeah, we are crazy. We know. <laughs> okay, water babies, we're last. Meh. We're going last today, water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we'll do a collective reading at the end, so stay until the end if you want to get advice from spirit and hear the collective message. Always full of good advice. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Everybody get tap in the screen, smash the thumbs up button if you're on YouTube watching this. This will be uploaded to YouTube, so you can rewatch it later if you want to watch again. That sun catcher's going. I have sun catchers and bracelets and all sorts of fun stuff in my Etsy shop for you babes. If you want to check out my Etsy shop at Sun Moon Pisces, that's where you book a private reading with me as well. So if you need a private reading, I have those available for you guys. <clears throat> Is this what we're using? We got the Garbage Pail Kids deck from Andrea. So cute. If you guys haven't seen this one yet, which you probably have if you watch my channel a lot. I love it. I'm obsessed with this deck. Obsessed. Okay. What other deck are we using? Which oracle? This one. Here we go, Earth Babies. Here we go. Are you ready? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
And anybody dealing with an earth baby? Earth babies? I don't have such good luck with earth signs, okay? Welcome. Happy New Year to everybody that just got in here. I hope your 2023 is amazing this year. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. Thank you, babes. Okay. We're almost ready. Spirit, are you here? Are you with us? Are you ready? Because we're ready. Taurus Virgo Capricorn and if you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you can cross watch remember the roles can be reversed so flip the energy if you need to if the roles are reversed then you kind of get to see what the other person's perspective is about the situation which can be triggering sometimes or it can be really helpful especially if you don't know what's going on with them or what they're thinking here we go earth signs It makes you laugh when people come in and ask what sign we're on. <laughs> They're probably new and they just don't know how things go here. It's okay. We are going off the board, everybody. Okay, we got the runner. We're starting with number one, earth signs. Someone's scared in the mirror. scared go to church seven of cups the empress you guys are the ones that are scared okay <clears throat> scared of choosing the wrong thing four of swords My earth signs are doing like a lot of thinking, overthinking, God, earth signs, stop overthinking shit. I feel like you guys are overthinking to the point where you're making yourself anxious or the person you're dealing with is doing this. One of you is up in your head so much that it's making you want to run away from the situation and just not even deal with it. And there's a fear of choosing the wrong thing, like making the wrong decision and regretting it later. It's almost like, I'm so scared to make a decision, I'm not gonna make any decision at all. <laughs> the high priestess and the magician. Whoever this is, whether it's you or them, the person that's like not making any decisions needs to start following their intuition listen to your gut to get what you want but it's like too afraid to make any choice even if that's what you're feeling you should do I'm so scared to make a decision even though I feel like I should do this choice because then it's gonna bring me what I want I feel like I should do this but I'm not gonna do it because I'm too scared so then you're not gonna get what you want this kind of came through the um, reading I did on YouTube. Was it cancer? Somebody was so scared of getting hurt that they're like blocking out their happiness. Okay. Running, fear of intimacy, listening to your ego over your intuition. You or they are doing that. Running from a decision. Making a decision that's going to actually bring you what you want. Okay, I need a drink, you guys. This is exhausting. <laughs> Let's get hydrated, y'all. It's water. Okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Somebody's just like 
trying to distract themselves with work. potential for love here I feel like you guys would work really well together it would be like a solid stable new beginning with a lot of love but somebody is so stuck in their head they're trying to like get away from the situation by not making any decisions because they're holding on to things from the past it's like not even it has nothing to do with this connection that is making this person do this it's something from their past that they're not letting go of and they're taking it out on you or you're taking it out on them because you're holding on to the past I don't know but somebody's trying to just get away from this situation keep their feelings to themselves not make any decisions they're too wounded from the past to be able to like be vulnerable there's a fear of intimacy because of the past <clears throat> This person definitely wants to talk though. Like they have things that they're holding back and not saying. There's unspoken words. And there's this feeling of them thinking, I might regret this. Like they know deep down, I might regret not taking a chance on this. They can feel that. Cause they do really like you. There's feelings there. There's a lot of potential here, but they're like just not willing to be that vulnerable or they're they're so stuck in their head geez earth signs okay tap in and claim it if it's yours I don't see this person making any moves anytime soon because they're just doing a lot of reflecting but not making any moves and trying to run away <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice because they need to talk and they're not talking all right Tap in and claim it if that was your frustrating reading. Because I feel frustrated now. So I feel like you guys are frustrated with that situation. Have a drink, honey. Relax. <laughs> okay. Let's do fire babies. Aries Leo, Sag. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Remember to cross-watch so you don't miss any messages for you because you can have more messages in a cross-watch reading, too. So, Aries Leo Sag. Fire babies. Are you guys here? You better be here. You better be here. Hey, Wispy. Thank you for helping me in the chat all the time. Everybody say thank you, Wispy, for being such an amazing mod. She is, like... One of my soulmates, I know it. <laughs> That's my girl. Wispy. Thank you, babe. Always keeping the chat flowing nicely and helping everybody. You are so sweet, babe. All right, Aries Leo Sag. Thank you, Cindy, for the rose. Thank you, Black, for the sneakers. Cool. Thank you, babe. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I really appreciate it. Aw, thank you, D. Addiction. Ooh, someone's obsessed, addicted to you, babes. Of course. My sexy fire signs, you get everybody addicted. Because you're so fine. Sword and the Rose. Ooh, yeah, somebody really likes you. <laughs> Their draw toward you is powerful. They feel like almost like they can't resist. They can't resist you, Fire Sign. Because you're so sexy. My hotties. Of course. Kiki is cross-watching because I know you a hottie, honey. 
Page of Cups. Yeah, this person really likes you. They want to get romantic. They caught feelings for sure. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want to talk to you. They like talking to you. They're very attracted. I'm not surprised. Knight of Cups. Wow. The page and the Knight of Cups. What did you guys do to this person? You put a spell on them. They're they're hooked. You got them wrapped around your finger. Caught up in your orbit. Spinning like a bullet. Yeah, they can't get away from thinking about you. Justice. Libra energy. Could be a Libra. You guys are meant to come into contact with this person in this lifetime. You have some sort of a soul contract. This person can feel like this draw toward you. They can't stop. <laughs> I just can't stop. They want to make out with you. This person is like really lovey. They definitely could be a water sign. There's a lot of water energy here. Libras are very lovey. Look at that, you guys. The lovers. This person is like, ooh, give me some kisses, mama. <laughs> they want to flirt, they want to get close to you, this person wants to show you their feelings for you. Mm -mm. This is a Gemini energy. <clears throat> they feel like you connect with them really well, like they understand you, you understand them. They, vi they like the vibe between the two of you for sure feels good some of you guys smell really good or you're just like eye candy to this person let's get some more they want to cuff this person wants keep you around for sure. They don't want you to go anywhere. Three of swords. They're a little bit scared of you hurting them though. Yeah, they're scared of getting hurt. <clears throat> so they might not be making a lot of moves or they might be holding back a little bit. I do see them. Whoa, they are obsessed, you guys. The devil and addiction. Totally obsessed, but really worried about things ending badly. They want things to go well with the two of you, but it almost makes them hold back a little bit because they're worried about getting hurt because their feelings for you are strong. I mean, they definitely caught feelings quick here. They're sure about you, but they're holding back. <clears throat> so even though they're sure about what they want with you, they're still like taking it slow or holding back a little bit, not making all the moves that they want to make because they're scared you're gonna hurt them or things might end badly between the two of you because it's so intense. This is an intense connection for them. Their feelings toward you are very strong. It's like a force, like suctioning you <laughs> together. You're like magnets, Ooh. okay? <clears throat> but yeah, they're worried that things might be so intense between the two of you that it gets toxic. Some of them are worried that you're attached to other people. They are definitely restraining themselves, see? They're holding back a lot because there's this fear of like, I don't want things to go left. They want things to go well between the two of you, so they're trying to be kind of strategic and not go all in they're they're holding back but they're definitely like making plans and wanting to be really flirty and close to you and talk to you I feel like this person really wants to talk to you a lot but sometimes they hold back and they're like nah I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna message again I just messaged you know okay tap in and claim it if it's you babes I need to get another water so hold on I just drank all my water, it's gone. Talk to each other for a second while I go get some water.
time to hydrate, babes. Take a deep breath too, you guys. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Clear your channel. <clears throat> Let's do air babies. Thank you everybody for connecting with me today. It's good to see you guys. I hope you had an amazing weekend. I hope you guys had fun on New Year's. What the heck, air signs? What is this? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a toxic energy around you that you either got away from or you need to get away from. Some of you guys need to let that Gemini go. about losing you if you guys walked away this per if you're not going through the grief this other person is so like I said the energy can be vice versa love call thinking of you and letting you know yeah there's somebody grieving the ending of the connection but the connection was toxic sabotaged it's like the person that sabotaged it now wants to work on things. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry that I made you cry. That song's coming through. I didn't want to hurt you. I'm just a jealous guy. I was feeling insecure. King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody that's kind of stubborn and I feel like a controlling energy from them. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I want to work on things again. Let's let's work it out. We can work it out. There's a lot of songs coming through for you guys too. But they're older songs. Like from the 80s, I think. 80s and 90s. We can work it out. Life is very short. Some of you, <clears throat> this person's kind of shallow or materialistic. Six of Cups, yeah, they want to come back. Thinking about you, missing you, wanting to come back into your life, wanting to work it out with you. Some of you guys, this is an ex. thinking about the fact that they want you some of you this person like betrayed you or tried to get away with some bullshit when you were dealing with each other I feel a definite toxic energy and somebody that was kind of sneaky deceptive <clears throat> but they're like I want you back we got Virgo and Aquarius energy coming through here strong Virgo strong Aquarius Taurus and Capricorn but yeah this person's been spending a lot of time feeling lonely without you they miss you there's something about you that's special to them I feel like you guys don't even care <laughs> you're like I don't want to hear I don't care what they think I know I'm special I feel like this person irritated you or did things that caused a lot of issues between the two of you so you don't even want to hear it for a lot of you you're like I don't want to hear what they have to say I don't care how they feel kick rocks see <laughs> I don't care diamond <laughs> I can feel that honey I can feel that irritated energy I don't care what they want yeah you guys are like ruined things but they're being persistent when it comes to not 
letting you go, still wanting to try. Yeah, they've been, some of them have been numbing themselves, partying, spending time alone, numbing themselves, thinking about you, wishing that they could have you back, wishing that things could work out, wishing that they could fix what they broke. They're like, I broke it. I know I broke it. The sun, Leo energy. And Gemini, there you guys are with the lovers. Yeah, this person's going to be like, I love you, baby. Come back. Baby, come back. There's so many songs coming through, you guys. <laughs> this person could be really into music. But like I said, it's like older songs coming through. You make them happy. They're, you are like, when you're gone, they don't feel good. This person feels lonely without you. They want to stay attached. They almost feel kind of codependent on you. Like, I need you. They might even beg you to stay. Please don't go. Yeah, they're going to start treating you really good. Damn, yeah, they're making all these changes trying to get you back. These are all major arcana. Trying to get you back and keep you long term. They don't want you to go anywhere. Some of you, they're like wanting to know what you're thinking. They want to know how you feel. They're going to be asking you questions and telling you like, please let me, we can work this out. Can, will you please work this out with me? Can't we just try again? Begging you. I feel like you guys are like, nah. Whoever is being begged to come back is like stubbornly going, no. <laughs> No. No thanks. But they're persistent. Even if you reject them, they're still gonna try. Yep, they're still gonna try to work it out. Some of you, there's something that they get from you though. It's like they... You help them financially or energetically somehow. Like you bring positive energy into their life. You make their life better, you make their life easier, but I feel like they do the opposite to you. The person that's running away from this connection feels like nothing good comes from this connection. And the person that wants to rebuild things feels like their life is only going to be good if they're with you, okay? You guys are all, yep, 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 it's hitting, that's good, I like that and claim it if it's yours babe channeling the shit out of my collective today let's do water babies now wispy you are the best moderator in the world pisces cancer scorpio damn there's a lot of you claiming that one okay you know all those songs? Baby, come back. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Water babies, it's our turn. What's it gonna be, spirit? Tell us something good for the new year. I got the nicest message from one of my private readings yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was such a nice message. So I was like, this is symbolic. This is going to be a good year for my readings. 2023 is going to be your girl's year. Okay, here we go. Water signs. Right on time, Lee. All right, spirit, tell us what we want to hear. <laughs> Tell us what we want to hear. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Talking. Interested. Conversation. Oh no. Heartbroken. What happened? Water babies. 
you're sad, they're sad, someone's sad. Oh, he's sad. <laughs> Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone from your past is sad during the separation with you. Feeling lost. This kind of feels like the air sign reading a little bit, but it, it feels a little different. The lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, this person from your past has really strong feelings for you and they haven't gotten over you and they want to talk if they haven't reached out I do see them thinking about it thinking about they're interested in a conversation with you but they're waiting if they haven't messaged you like they're holding back they want to text you they want to call you they're definitely checking you out right now. They're hoovering over you. Knight of Cups, see? He wants to come in and be romantic. It could be another water sign, or this could be you, and you could be dealing with a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He loves you. Didn't this come through for the Earth sign reading when we did Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? You guys had the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, didn't you? Or was that fire signs? I can't remember. They definitely want to stop thinking about the, yeah, they're very attracted to you. Aw, look at how cute she is. <laughs> Queen of Wands, they think you are sexy. They're still very drawn to you. There's a little bit of sexual frustration here. They wanna, they wanna have some makeup you know, makeup booty. <laughs> Seven of Cups. They're dreaming about you. They're dreaming about how good you look. This person's been having like sexy dreams about you. Arr. They can't get you out of their head, baby. And they're trying to figure out what to do. They're, they're like looking at their different options of what to do. They're definitely stalking you guys, hoovering over you, watching you like a helicopter. What's she doing today? This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They're really curious about what you're up to, how you're feeling. Like they want to talk to you and hear what you have to say. Or they're trying to like look at your social media and read into your posts. Or they could be asking people about you too. If you guys know mutual people, they're like, yeah, they're wanting clarity. They definitely want to talk. What? Why does that keep coming up? Everybody's getting the Seven of Swords today. People being sneaky. They're like sneaking around and watching you. Mm hmm. Looking at you like you're wifey, you're the one that got away. There's a lot of spying and a lot of them being up in their head. It's like almost all swords, which is thoughts. Thoughts about you, dreams about you, checking up on you. But they're sitting there going, I'm not going to make a move. They want to make a move. They want to like talk and have a conversation. But even if they do reach out to you guys, some of them are still holding back what they really want to say. They're like trying to feel out how you feel or they're like asking questions to see how you feel first or they're asking other people how you feel first before they come forward it's just like a they want to be sure they know how you feel or they're trying to figure out how you feel before they actually open up it's almost like safer for them to do that because then if you don't feel the same way, then they can be like, oh, never mind. I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. I don't really, you know. <laughs> this person's got some pride that they're trying to protect when it comes to you and coming back and opening up. They like rather know that you want them back first. So it's safe. 
so that's like making them hold back because they're not sure like they'd rather be sure that they know that you want them to first some of you guys are like I don't want them so make sure you make it clear you could post something because they're watching you you could post something on your social media like I don't want any of my exes back I don't know they they're watching so you could definitely make it clear to this person if you don't want them back because they're holding back until they find out for a lot of them what you're feeling okay that got annoying at the end <laughs> tap in and claim it if it's yours there's a lot of like overthinking to the point where I feel like they are almost annoyed about how much they're thinking about this they would rather not be thinking about it so much too they're like god I need to think about something else okay let's do some of these for the collective if you guys need a private reading go to my Etsy shop you know what's so funny you guys know there's like tons of um, scam accounts especially on TikTok TikTok they take my picture and they change my name a little bit and make a duplicate account and then they follow all my followers and message you guys if you follow them back and say like "Ooh, I, I feel your energy and I want to give you a reading and try to solicit readings from you guys you know those people well every time there's a new one spirit tells me it's so crazy you guys I'll be like just doing something during the day and spirit will be like go check go check go go search TikTok." And I look it up, and sure enough, there's a new scam account under my name. It's kind of funny, because I catch them before they can do anything. I'm like, thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's get some Oracle decks and get some advice. Like, you bitches can't scam my followers. I'm on top of that shit. All right, collective, what do we got? Yeah, if any reader reaches out to you and messages you, it's probably a scammer because we don't do that shit. Tarot readers don't do that. We don't have to go to you guys for readings. There are so many people that order readings, we don't have to do that. There's no reason for it. Plus, most readers are very spiritual and we don't chase money, we attract it. So that just doesn't even line up with, you know, how tarot and spirituality works. So if anybody's doing anything like that with you guys, it's probably a scammer. Hi, Christine. I didn't see you, babe. Ooh, nice. The dog. Supportive friend, a sibling, co-worker, a faithful, loyal buddy. Tell us more, Spirit. What's going on? what's up with the collective the wolverine there's somebody around you that's very like protective of you or they got your back or they're sticking up for you standing up for you they're loyal to you and they're like protecting you or they're standing up for you somehow they're defending you or they're going to be somebody that you can count on stand by me there's 
somebody here that's like going to help you. This is a soulmate energy, but it could be a family member or a friend. Some of you, it's a lover that is, you guys are like friends too. Lovers and friends. You have a really strong connection with this person. You're some sort of strong soulmate and they're here to help like protect you and guide you and they're almost like a guardian. Hmm. If you don't have a friend like this or somebody in your life, you're about to have this person like come into your life. I see you guys making a lot of good memories together. It's a very powerful connection. You guys like help each other, support each other. It's total soulmate energy. You guys help each other. You're walking each other home. Oh, this is cute. It could totally be like a friend. It, it could be platonic for a lot of you. They're getting you out of situations that you feel stuck in. There's somebody that you can rely on that that can be there for you, especially if you're single. It's like you have somebody there that that's going to help you so you don't feel like you need to be in a relationship because you need other people or whatever. You have this person here that's going to help you. It's either like a family member or a friend, or it could be a lover that's like your best friend that is there to get you through hard times. Because I see this person getting you through a hard time. They're actually like sticking up for you. They're helping you through a struggle. They're getting you out of situations that you've been stuck in. It's like they're here to help and they're, it's like an angel. It's, it's like an earth angel. I'm getting chills. This is so cute. A guardian angel, but they're here. Between in and outer worlds. Hmm. You guys have like a really strong telepathic connection too. So like when you think about this person, they might message you. Or you guys can read each other's minds. You just look at each other, give each other a look, and you know what the other one's thinking. There's a really strong connection here where you guys are like meant to be here for each other to help each other through hard times. This person also helped your confidence somehow too. I feel like this is somebody that can gas you up, make you feel good about yourself. Um, it's like an external validation, which... You shouldn't need but it's nice that you guys have it you know you have that person that is like they got your back how cute I love my friends like that I have two Libras that are like that my Libra bestie from like sixth grade we met in like sixth grade we've been friends for a long ass time honey because I am 40 and then when I worked for CPS, I met another amazing, sweet Libra bestie. My daughter is a Libra and she's one of my best friends too because I had her when I was 18, so we kind of grew up together. She's my little best friend too. She's 22 now. Which is fun. I love it when I, like... I'm still young enough to like have fun with my kids and she's old enough to go, you know, we have fun together. It's kind of cool. Okay, spirit, stop faking us out. Give us a card. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Ooh. And there's somebody here to help you heal. There's somebody here that's like getting you out of a time where you're feeling stuck, you're feeling down, or you need support. You need somebody to have your back. Somebody that is faithful and loyal to you. It's like restoring your faith in humanity almost too. Bring love into the situation. There's a lot of love between the two of you. Like you guys just are soulmates best friend you're my motherfucking soulmate that's um sweetie a time for healing let's read balsamic moon let me find the page give me a second thank you for your patience baby booze 
have I told you guys lately that I love you? I love you. Okay, page 38. A time for healing. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Don't just put a band-aid on it. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. See, I feel this friend here is going to be very soothing and helping you move forward to repair those cracks. Remind yourself, this person like calms you down, I feel like, they, or they relieve stress. It's like they soothe you. Remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. So if you don't know what to do, just wait and go with the flow. You're going to know when it's time to make a move. Powerful insights can be had during this time. So you guys are going to get epiphanies and downloads and be figuring things out that you were really confused about. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so that you're ready when the time comes for you to have your dreams into reality. When one is healed, all are healed. So the more you heal, especially like when it comes to generational trauma, when you guys heal, you actually heal for other people that come after you. It's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. You need a little more time to heal, but you're about to turn a corner in your healing. Think about how this situation would look if everyone was healed, if you felt no more pain about this situation. Patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. So be patient and go with the flow like the jellyfish. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon. Get yourself grounded, soothe yourself, hang out with this friend if you have this friend in your life. No matter which point in the current moon cycle you've pulled this card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easy on yourself. It's time to step into your power soon enough. Give yourself the time you need. Okay. So just relax. Some of you guys are in a little resting healing period and you might be feeling kind of bored or antsy, like when are things going to change? But just wait, mama, like enjoy this time while you have it. It's kind of like when you have a newborn baby and you sleep when they sleep because you're going to need that sleep once they wake up. So you're prepared ahead of time, right? So it's like you're, you're needing some healing downtime right now. Just let yourself have, have that time. Go with the flow. Don't try to make things happen when they're not happening. It's like it's time for you to kind of chill because pretty soon things are going to start picking up and you're going to have to go, go, go. And you're going to be like, damn, I wish I would have chilled when I could. <laughs> okay. That's it for you guys. I'm done. I got nothing else. I am going to get this uploaded to YouTube so you guys can check it out. Give me a couple hours though because it takes forever ever to get it downloaded from TikTok and then uploaded onto YouTube. It really is tedious, you guys, but I, I do it for y'all so you can keep watching because <laughs> I know some of you guys have shit to do and you can't be on the live all the time. I get it. I know. You're welcome, babes. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you guys all good energy. Thank you for connecting with me today and tapping in. Thank you, babes. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye. Hey, Andrea. Hey, girl. All right. Bye, babes.